So you know Arduino, you can power it with USB, but what if you want to power it with AA batteries? Well, you cannot directly connect it to the uh, VN pin in here because these are lower than 5 volts. So what we can do? Well, let me present to you my new invention. This this beautiful PCB. On the back we have the SMD AA battery holder. Uh, let me adjust this setup. In the meantime, you can subscribe to my channel so that I can bring to you more beautiful projects. As you can see, we have uh, uh, two USBs and we have also SMD's pin header and well, on the back, uh, only the battery holder. So, yeah, of course, you can use four AA batteries if you want. This will give you 4.8 volt with the rechargeable ones. And um, but I want it to do with only two, and they want to output like five volt, clean five volt. Um, yeah, let's try it. So there we go. We have the PCB and the two batteries. Now let me insert it, and we will end up with. Uh, uh, chopping 4 volts or a little bit higher as you can see we have the LEDs on and now let me bring my Arduino and connect it with the USB cable And the Arduino is on and fully functional. Well, why just the Arduino? Let's plug it in an ESP32 module. And there we go, also the ESP32 is on. As you can see, we have the power LED. And they are both fully functional. Regarding the headers here, we have ground and we have 5 volts and also 3.3 volts. By the way, this is the first time I use these and the headers, these are pretty good. So guys, in this part of the video, I just want to show you uh, that the headers work. And well, to do it, I just, yeah, lit an LED up. <laughs> And the LED is working. I should point out that those USB are not for power application, obviously, because you're still drawing current from your, like, batteries. And with those batteries, I can draw up to, like, 300 milliamps or so, whereas with my, like, power supply, I can draw even 1 amp. To calculate the input current, just multiply the output voltage times the output current and divide it by the input voltage times the efficiency that I set to 0.85 and so the result is 1.13 amp. Now let's take a look at the schematic and PCB design. But first let me thank my sponsor PCBWay who provided the PCB used in this video. If you want really good looking PCB I highly suggest to check PCBWay.com using the link in the description. They can also assemble PCBs for you or offer 3D printing and CNC machining with tons of material to choose with. Just check pcbway.com, link in the description. Let's start with uh, the top here, top left corner we have power flex. Then we have the voltage input with the screw terminal and the battery with the TVS diode. That's important because you don't want to damage your circuit when you touch uh, the contacts of the battery holder. Uh, you didn't see the uh, screw terminal because uh, I didn't have one. Oh yeah, anyway. So let's go forward. We have the 5 volt USB circuit. And it is basically consisting of a boost circuit. Uh, the TPS 6382, I see. Uh, we have the feedback resistor. And uh, next we have the MT9700. That is a power distribution switch with current limit feature. You can just 
set it with one register and next we have the two USB ports with respective TVS to protect them from USD okay going through the TPS6382 datasheet we can see we have low input voltage as you can see and we can have up to 5.2 volt output voltage and we have here the circuit and actually let me type the uh, search the typical application and there we go this is your typical application circuit and as you can see it's really simple few components and you're ready to go regarding the MT9700 it is a power distribution switch uh, with a current limit feature so you can set it with only one resistor and you are ready to go okay back to the circuit uh, the 3.3 volt is the same as the 5 volt just change the uh, feedback uh, resistor and yeah it doesn't change anything else we have LEDs and connectors uh, which by the way I remember are SMDs one and I had to use them because on the rear side they had the uh, battery holder let's just take a quick look at the PCB design as you can see it's a two-layer board and on the back we have only the SMD connections for the uh, SMD battery holder on the top we have the rest so we have the screw terminal the USBs the pin header and the boost converters okay now let's take a look at the 3D view as you can see I found all the 3D model and I want to give you some uh, views of it uh, as you can see it's pretty, it's really good I mean uh, this is the back uh, this is the front view this is the side view USBs yeah pretty fine Okay guys, if you enjoyed the video, please subscribe and see you next time. Bye!